and I am playing City Skylines. This is my City Tavino. This is episode 38, video 38, part 38, whatever you want to call it. And in this particular episode, I am looking at adding another university area. So I think City Skylines comes with three different types of universities that you can build up. So I am placing my third university into the town. The reason for this was well, in one of the larger areas, it kept on coming up with little, you know, things saying we need more educated people. I was like, okay, that's why I can understand you want some more educated people because we've got, you know, have a lot of people in the city. So, it's time to add one in. And here I am. I've added my new education area. And I'm just trying to plan out where I'm going to place the first administration building. Once you add the administration building, it then sets that educational university zone to the relevant university type. So here we go, let's place it in now. Kapow, thank you. So you've got to add water in, otherwise you're gonna have a massive problem. It's gonna complain, it's gonna bitch about, I've got no water, I need some water, so let's that in you can hear the binging in the sound of ding sound that happens in the background well that obviously is because another one that is because the university is now in the area and we've got lots of happy sims and they're all going to be upgrading all of their lovely properties for you know because they can and therefore the value of the land is going to increase and we're going to end up with more educated people So if you have been watching my last few videos, you will have seen that I am now using the big parking lot quite a lot. Quite a lot? I'm using the big parking lot quite a lot, lot. Anyway, I am. It's brilliant. It's sheer genius, the people who did that. Absolutely awesome. I mean, it's just fantastic. You can generate a parking lot car park for those of us in the UK very, very quickly. It's just a huge benefit over the original method which was I must admit was still very good you could you know create a little road in and then you did a really wide road and you had to put in all of the parking spaces but this is brilliant so I've done the border I've done the drive now I'm doing the filler the filler goes in you leave one gap between each of the roads as you can see one now hmm, something wrong Something's not working correctly there. Now I'm pretty sure if you look at it, the border is on the outside. That is how it should be. So something is not quite right. Now I imagine it's probably because I'm not using the filler. I'm still using the, the border. So let's uh, skip forward a little bit. So now I've got the correct thing selected. As I said, you drag down, leave one space. As you can see, you get the nice little arrows there. Perfect, do again. Click, leave one square. Join up, kaboosh, thank you very much. Let's do the next one. Now I'm gonna change because it was gonna cause a little bit of a problem down the bottom, like that. Problem, problem, problem. So what can we do about that? Yeah, why don't we go the other way? Genius, thank you very much. So once the villa is in, you now put the little parking spaces in, you bish bash it up, it is quite nice and easy, it kind of just goes up, click, 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 fantastic. Time to add a few obligatory trees around the outside of the parking lot. So 
So we've built this really nice layout here. This is the using the big parking locks mod as you would have seen. And as I said previously, which I wasn't recording, whoops, that uh, occasionally you have some issues with getting these orientated the correct, the correct way. I found that when you place them in, so I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna just delete that one then. When you are placing them in, it seems to me very dependent on where you put your cursor. So if you put your cursor down here, it does this kind of shape. If you put your cursor up here, it joins up really nicely. So that's a little tip from me to you. I think you'll agree it looks fantastic. You also need to double check that your options are correct. So under TMPE, under gameplay, you have to have this enabled. So you do need Traffic Manager Present Edition is a must. You need that mod to make these work, otherwise they will just completely ignore the car park. As you can see, I've got it on. I did spot something else earlier, which I thought, well, that's pretty cool. That was to do with here, I think. Uh, oh, can, buses can may ignore lane. That's interesting. Vehicles may not enter a block. Now that, ooh, I'm gonna turn that on. I'm going to be interested to see what that does because because um, I'm running at the moment TMPE I've got despawning disabled so despawning is currently disabled which means traffic is absolutely bonkers around the area and with that you tend to lose a lot of money as well anyway campus is here I was also saying you need to make sure that you give a grant and you employ staff otherwise you just well for my view you do not get anywhere your unrecognized status remains you can't become recognized without just plowing in cash and also i am currently needing well i need another four and a half thousand seats so places so we just need to add some of those in so i think what we're going to do is go back to the university and we're going to add a nice little pathway so we can add some pathways here. I'm going to just put one to the here. I'm going to take one off. And I think it's time to add in some dormitories. Let's just see if we can place them in. So what we've got university. Now I think these would look fantastic overlooking the water. It's a super high end university this. You've got a really lovely view, but it's not in a campus area. Oops. Let's just expand that a little bit then. Thank you. And we just whack another one in there. Look. We'll put some trees in between them in a minute. But first of all, we just want to add some path. So we're just going to add a path. So what does that mean at the moment? Let's have a look. How is our institute doing? So we've got an attractive level. We've got no students at the moment. And what do these provide? We can take 75 students per area. Okay. So what else have we got at the moment on this level one? We have also got the university study hall. That obviously is quite an important building. Where shall we put the study hall? Let's stick it in the middle of the two dormitories, I think, so that the students can get access to it quite easily. What else have we got? We have got yeah, groundkeeping is quite an important one. It makes the place look nice. Near the entrance, don't walk too far. And we've got a club. So we can add a little club into the campus area just for interest. And we've got a rather posh university area. We've got that. Make sure isn't that inside? Just fill that out a bit. Square off like that. Backing onto the old 
power plant or whatever that may be. Historical. So like that. We need some need some nice routes to and from. Might make that one a bit more of a wavy line. Fantastic. So we've got a university. So good, we've got that. We haven't got any of this. We've got none of that either. So we're not doing too well. We're spending a lot of money. Policies. What was that doing us? Mm. Let's have some of that. Give him some of that. I'm going to give him a student health care. That sounds pretty good. We've got no... Uh, football or anything along those lines at the moment, but I think that's looking pretty good. Let's just take that off and see what happens. Car park has got the zero lights around it, which is fine, and we could do with something out the front. Let's just see what we've got, which could be nice. I've added a couple of invisible pathways now. I'm just interested to see what happens. So we've got quite a few little bits and pieces. We've got places for the students to hang out. They've got some picnic tables. We've got a fountain for reveling in when it's too hot and humid for them to do anything. Oh. Uh, where is he off to him? I think he was going for a bit of a joyride, that chap, wasn't he? Where are you going, mate? So, yeah, interesting, that one. So let's have a look, we have got the Tavino in the Tavino Institute. So I've got that, all oh, got some students. Whoop, whoop. Haven't got any academic works, but uh, I have granted. Give me some grants for that. And we have just got to wait now to see if we can get people to move in and have a look. I'm just going to do at the moment, I might bash out a few trees just around here, just to make these look a little bit more, I'm not going to use that one, I'm just going to use the more mod, just going to put a few little trees in, individually. people going on the train so far. Where's that person going? No idea. So we just really got to wait now to see what happens to this big area. This is my third university area in Tavino and I really want it to be able to get more people in. I am in need of a few other things so we are elementary high school we're good elementary so let's just whack in a couple of elementaries into this new area so we can put them into certain places i've got some spots yes i'm back to green using a gt mod thank you very much you can use one of those mods to help extend a few things. I'm going to rotate that. Don't want to block that pavement. It's fantastic. So come on to Vino. We need you to become more. I got attracted to this. I've got to get 500 students before I can get to the next level. This could take some time. As you can hear, we have got a lot of upgrades occurring, which is fantastic. That's probably down to having good university areas and 
having lots of elementary schools. We haven't got a postal service. I can have one of those in actually. Let's just. I can't remember where is it. Is it over here? Postal, postal, postal. I don't need a sorting depot, but I can put that over here because it's noisy. We don't need it over near. Thank you very much. Some more upgrades. More happy people. What are we doing in the Spruce District at the moment? A thousand. A lot of adults. Mainly residential. We've got some commercial. Uh, we've got some offices, we've got a small, I thought I had some small amount of commercial, but maybe it's not being taken up yet. Oh, population is dropping. It's not particularly high. Is that Fisher? Yeah, doing a bit of fishing. So I'm just trying to make a water feature here, so I'm not sure how that is going to work. That's interesting, number number four. Right, so we just need to add some water. So this is going to be a bit of a shock I think and I'm going to do this apparently use the primary mouse to place use the secondary mouse button to remove use the handles to adjust the water level what handle, handle there. In. Uh, about there. Oh, flooding flooding now so that should stay in there, but it always doesn't, doesn't it? Maybe it gets absolutely trashed, first of all. Whoops. Maybe you should have put the water feature in first. So in one of the parks, you have got some little piers you can put out. That's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame. I thought that'd be really handy, but um, whoops. Bit of a flood fest going on. Wouldn't come over here, Mr. Aston Martin, in your car, you might get flooded. Well educated young adult going to work school, going for their first shift at somewhere. A university student at the school at the school of Lure. Alright, so that's uh, they're going just this monster. Very nice too. So what I might just do is I'm gonna put a couple more of the um, these things in the dormitories just because I think that you need more in otherwise I'm gonna run out of I think I'm gonna run out of wise of you know places I'm gonna put another study all in I'm going to put another study hall in, yeah. Squeeze that in. Put a few more dormitories in place as well. I might be able to put one in just there. Can we fit one in just here? Perfect, look at that. And let's put 
put a little bit of gravel down here. Then I reckon we can put some seats in. Not a fan of any of those. Let's just check to see what seats we've got. Sure, we've got some better seats at one of these places. of pinging going around up there. A lot of helicopters flying. That is a really popular helicopter port, that. How are we doing? Oh, we've got a number of cars. Thank you. Getting there, 156 people. So I thought I had a really nice influx of uh, students there, but it appears all they really want to do is sit in the rather lovely park on this rather beautiful day and not do any form of education. Quite happy about that. The train station looks absolutely brilliant. That's one of the newer, I think it's one of the newer Sunset Harbour assets that was released in the DLC. And that is a custom asset there of a little EMU. And it does look absolutely fantastic. Don't think those boards actually say anything. Shame they're out of focus. That'd be rather a nice touch if it said, oh, this is the district area, blah, 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 blah. That'd be fantastic, but they don't. Quite happy with that, as long as it doesn't catch fire. <laughs> that could be rather annoying. So, yeah, they've got a nice spot at the moment. These dormitories just here. I've got a rather lovely looking out, lovely looking view, shall I say. They are looking rather splendid, nice high up, very majestic, majestic, majestic. You've got your weird club, that sounds like squash to me, but it's obviously something different. And oh look, you've got some, some students hanging out in the back there with their toolkits, ready to go in, start studying. And we've got this big pool area I'm just toying with the idea actually to I wonder about putting an elevated pathway over it, can we do that? is it possible to do that? let's just check to see if we can do no so not. Oh, flooding! Well, what I wanted to do was can you do. Can you force elevated pathways? You bloody can. Now that looks a bit weird. Let's just sort that out, shall we? I want to select that and I want to make it the same height as that. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. Good job. Good job everybody. Well done. People using the pathway straight away, look. So one thing. I'm going to give this a try. I want to add a varsity sport. So let's just add one in. I'm just going to expand the area over here because I think this is where I'm going to put it. It doesn't necessarily need to be directly in it, but it's going to be there. I'm going to use the basketball one. It's got a bit of a noise pollution element to it, so I reckon this could fit quite nicely just there.
So I've got some ink. There's a little campus area. It's now got the varsity sports available. I think I do. I ain't too worried about colours. Might add a few paths to it so that they can walk from their dormitories directly over. Take off the info view. That work right. That looks like it. Let's put a little bit of stuff into this what we got a little bit of is advertising cheerleading budget definitely coaching staff yeah let's put some of those in hey result what's this the Tavino Institute I can't even say it Tavino Institute all of a sudden we've got academics of one we've got 186 students we are very attractive we are still not a recognized rather annoyingly what we got we have got a few extra things We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. We've got study hall, and we've already got that. Um, Made a grant. To these ones, this is going to be annoying. Unrecognised, unrecognised. This, I believe, is something to do with the fact that I'm not putting money into certain things. So this has been recognised, and it was previously recognised. So I'm going to go to the institutes and add some few things in. So I've completed the Tavino Institute for well, as much as I can for a one-star unrecognised university. Seriously, this looks absolutely amazing. But we've got public transport, we've got the train going, moving over, we've got plenty of parking for the facility, faculty, faculty, for the faculty, that's the word I wanted, faculty. So all the faculty can park close by and not have to use public transport and all that jazz. I think it looks quite nice, I've got that kind of little bit of a parky feel at the front with plenty of sitting around for all those wonderful students to just leisurely enjoy their few years of costly education. But I do actually think the actual models for this are actually very, very good. So if you enjoyed my video about the Tavino Institute and the University Number 3, then please do hit subscribe. That would be fantastic thank you very much don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are emailed told whenever i am posting new material and hit the like button to let me know that you've enjoyed the video don't forget to add a comment if you would like to let me know something or give me some advice as i have only played a few hundred hours of the game now and i am still nowhere near as good as some of those people out there like sam burr that is epic stuff that goes on. Hope you're all keeping yourselves well. Lockdown seems to be easing here in the UK as I'm recording this video, so I'm really looking forward to being able to go to the shops and buy a couple of new t-shirts. But keep yourself well. Keep yourself safe. It's goodbye from me for now.